Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Fights and Tights. It's not, I mean, hopefully Fights and Tights will be the next action deck builder developed by Ground Shatter, but this is Fights and Tights Spaces. We're gonna check it out, I'm so excited. I saw this in, uh, I think the Gorilla Games Showcase recently. I think it's been uh, in development for a long time, but there's a demo out uh, that I'm playing now. I think if you're watching this the day this goes out, the demo still will still be out. Uh, until the 22nd, but we're going to check it out if you're interested. Do wishlist the game. It is just the demo because we're, we're doing lightning round demos here for this because there's all kinds of slappers in the uh, Steam Summer Games Festival here. How to play fights and tights. <laughs> I just want to keep on calling it fights and tights. Wait. Fights and tights. Spaces. <laughs> fights and tights is a turn-based deck building fighting game. Okay. Uh, use the mouse to highlight cards in your hand. Click to select. Okay. Move the selection cursor to the board to highlight a target tile on the card. And then press the mouse to carry out the action. Right click to cancel. Uh, anytime you can press alt to show the health and turn order of the characters on the board. And then enter to finish your turn. Okay. So right now it looks like we kind of just have to let it happen. And then we get our... Okay. I'm getting, you know, like, super, super hot visual vibes. Uh, what do we got here, though? We got move one tile in any direction, add six block. He's got eight attack. Slam a target into an adjacent wall or edge to deal 16 damage. We have three energy. Six damage, push one, and then push one to target. So we could probably, like... All right. Slam this guy into the wall for one. Yeah, he's down to two. Okay. I think maybe, like, going for a little bit of a, uh, see, yeah, he's got the 18 HP down to two there. Punch him. And then just front kick. It'd be cool to see this all kind of play out in, uh, in real time, too. And turn there. Defeat all enemies. Lose no health. Defeat enemies within four turns are all our objectives. So if we keep pushing him away, like, he won't really get to us. Do we have any way to do an extra six? Nope. Push. Okay, move past the target to gain one momentum. Or move it to. I, I do want to do this just to see. We got momentum. Momentum is the energy. Okay, that is, uh, that is very cool. Move around target. I mean, we don't need to do this. <laughs> We're just gonna, gonna just play with our food, I guess. Deal six damage up to two tiles away. Maintain your range. That's, I mean, that's pretty interesting. We got a ranged attack. Uh, I mean, can we push him to the side and then push him at a diagonal? We cannot. I did, I did want to check that out to see if that was even possible. So he's probably going to move over one space here. Walks like a crab. All right, we should be fine. Six damage and push the target. Get out of here, you punk. Oh! That, okay, that's pretty slick. End turn, is there any reason not to? Okay, we got an extra person uh, showing up here. Lose no health. Defeat enemies within two turns. Oh. Wait, did somebody get up? Is that what, what happened there? Six damage, up to two tiles away. We could even, like, push him to the left. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. I love how they crab walk. Can I push myself? <laughs> move around a target or move one. He moves one space. I think that that's what that means in the upper left there. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Because we don't want to have to move. Yeah, he's not. He can't get us there. Slam target into an adjacent wall or edge. So we could like. Okay. I got to front kick him. Can we move? Do We, we got to have or move one. Good deal. And then we can slam him into the wall. It is funny to think about this all happening as slowly as it's happening on screen here. And then we can select a reward. Counter, reduce incoming damage by six and deal six damage to each attacker. Add a random attack card to your hand. 
remove it on play. Add six block. That seems like it seems like counter is basically like the way to go. I do love me some Slay the Spire style grids here. Oh, don't you know it? To the alleyway. I'm I'm into it already. Like I, it's it's pretty slick. Think about distance. Some cards can only attack up close, others from further away. Use movement to ensure you control the fight space and don't get trapped in corners. Use the environment to your advantage. Environmental takedowns do lots of damage. Enemies will be automatically knocked out if they are pushed outside of the play area, regardless of health. Oh. Once an enemy has committed to attacking, they will attack regardless of who's standing in front of them. Ooh, okay. I was going to say, I'm kind of getting, like, Slay the Spire... I mean... Ooh, look at this YouTube guy making the X meets X com comparison. But it kind of reminds me of, like, a Slay the Spire meets Into the Breach. Uh, which is... a uh, hello? Amazing? So he's going to shoot regardless. He does... 15 damage! So we could, like... Oh, we don't really have a way to move. Oh, yeah, we do, we do, we do. Okay. First things first, slam him into the wall because he's going to get shot and die. Sneak past here. Oh, wait. Move around the target. That's fine. We can work with that. So can I, if I slam an enemy into another enemy, I bet you that would probably have worked, huh? I kind of don't really want to kill the gun guy yet, because it seems like we <laughs> we could probably... Oh, interesting. Yeah, we can punch that guy even through him. It seems like we, uh, we want to use him to our advantage, if I'm going to be honest. Counter. Block. So we're going to block... We have six block, and we reduce the damage we take by six. And if they... Sh <laughs> Why did, I, why did that make me laugh so much? I guess it's just because it happens in such slow-mo. They're like... Uh... Mister? You're... You're doing a bad. Push them to the left or the right of their current position. I do want to know, can we push him? What happens if we push him in? Eight. Minus eight, minus eight. Oh, did that? It did. It actually did eight damage to both of them. Okay. So we can't do it again, can we? Uh, move one tile in any direction. Push enemy one tile. Move past the target. I mean, I kind of. I wish we could move to the side of a target. Cause yeah, if we do this, we can go. Oh, apparently we can go right there. <laughs> Some of these walks are hilarious to me. So that's... He's going to die regardless. He's 15 damage. This should actually... And an extra 8. Push him again. No, oh, no! I did a bad thing! I, I, I should have known. Oh, no. Defeat enemies within the... Okay, well, there's actually no uh, no penalty here for taking damage. Slip to the side. Oh, my God, I do love it. Into an adjacent wall or edge. Oh! Oh, my God. It is some brutal stuff. Get out of here. We I mean, might as well block and counter. I don't. There, there's no reason to do it, but there's also no reason not to do it. <laughs> Slowly. See, this is interesting. He's got a gun. I do not. So that does put me in an interesting position here. Or move two. Move straight forward. Wait. Range one to two. Okay, I wonder if there's like a... We don't have any kind of like ranged moving maneuver. Uh, we have one energy here. 
Front kick, we could kick... I mean, kicking him into the wall would probably do an extra... An extra amount. Advance! Oh, okay. See, I'm trying to think about how to do this without taking damage here. For, for whatever it's worth, because the HP might actually uh, s stay in place here. So if we do this, if we advance, I imagine that means we will move up to them. I don't think we can kill, though. Push. Okay, we can push them to the side. Yeah, we, we move up to them. We can push them to the side. Yeah, <laughs> okay, sir. Can we... Okay, all right. We're good, we're good. It's an interesting way to, to give... Oh, hello. To kind of give the enemies with the gun advantage. It just literally... It makes sense. It's it's getting up to them. That's the hard thing. Uh, so he's... Oh, it looks like that's, the, that's death right there, I guess. I don't know that we can quite make it there. Deal damage up to two tiles away. Maintain range. We could actually just kill him. By moving forward a bit. I don't think there's a way to get him in range there. Yeah, easy enough. So yeah, if we put a shrimp in there or here, I think that that would be an instant kill. What is the what is the turn limit? Survive for two turns. Okay. Nothing I can do here. Might as well block. Seems like we have like a, a huge excess of energy. Like we we don't really have to be making decisions right now uh, about um, what we do or don't play. It's really right now. It's just about the order. Uh, can we step closer? Can we attack at an angle? Probably not. Right. Push and shove. We nope. We we do not still do not have to make an actual decision. <laughs> Oh, uh, that pushes him to the side. Uh, shove him to the left or the right. Sure. Just to, just cuz. Survive for one turn, defeat enemies. Oh, uh, no! We were so close. We needed to get him. I think there was probably a way to do it. Force a character to move two tiles towards you. See, that is what I was literally what I was just asking about. But vault over an obstacle into an empty tile, gain one momentum, or move two. See, I like that these all have options, and then they they have, like, the movement carts also have uh, other quirks to them for the most part. And I think that we could probably remove basic techniques from our deck, and, like, remove the ones that are just movement-based, and turn them into upgraded movement-based things. And here's a, a two-cost. This would be what I was talking about with the whole mana economy, being, the energy economy being very, very generous. We didn't have any two-cost cards. If we do this... If we start adding these cards instead of like the zero costs, it's gonna be uh, is it, that's gonna go away a bit. Advance and deal 14 damage to a tile or a target up to two tiles away. I kind of like the idea of get over here. I I, I want to I think I want to play medical. Gym. Okay, we can upgrade cards. We can buy these. We have 120 dollars. Jab. All right, let's uh, let's upgrade. What kind of thing can we do? We can't upgrade. Get over here. Quick strike. Quick strike plus nine damage up to two tiles away. Maintain range. Uh, slam target into an adjacent. Wall or edge deals 16 damage. Looks like it actually does 20. I think that's a visual bug here. Which, this is a crazy early demo, so, like, who cares? Uh... Wait, move past the target, gain one momentum, and do 6 damage? That just sounds kind of, like... I want to see how they visually deal with that. Because it's such a gentle... <laughs> gentle pass. Can we do this as well? Or do... No, we... Okay. Cool. I like that. I like that we have to make a choice. But I want to see how this looks. With them moving past and doing damage. Because, see, it just looked like a shoulder touch before. It is your sworn duty to protect the British ambassador. If you or he is killed, you lose the game. He's frightened, will not move on his own accord. 
You will need to use all the tricks at your disposal to move him around out of danger. Well, now we can't scoot to the other side of him. The ambassador will not take damage from your attacks. So we can, like, s slam him into the wall or something. Okay. Eight damage. They got two movement. Do we not have get over here? We do. It's just it couldn't have been upgraded. All right. Mm, front kick. You do this in advance. I think that's a good idea to start. If we can do that much damage, that'd be fantastic. I think we can. Just by uh, quick striking here and then uh, pushing him into the wall should work. <laughs> oh, he's breakdancing, dude. All right. So, yeah, we do have... Okay, so he has two two movements. What's that one? What's that one about now? I, I think I that's one thing I'm not quite getting yet. Move past them and do six damage. <laughs> it, just, it just yeah, it's just a, an aggressive shoulder grab. Okay. So if we can like we can shove him over here. We can move around. We can push him into the table. Right? Oh, are we going to take damage now, though? Because he's looking at me and he's aggressive? Yeah, okay. But he got counted. All right. This person apparently does not take damage from my attack. So you're going to hit the ambassador or me, punk? You're going to go for the ambassador. Okay. All right, we can obviously uh, just push him out of the way. Okay, so we cannot <laughs> slam them <laughs> into the ambassador. Fine. We could probably kick him into the ambassador. Does it? They did take eight. Okay, so that. All right. All right. All right. All right. If we push him over here, he's still going to be shooting that direction. All right. Get over here. Do we want to do that? Probably not. Just want to make sure that. I think he'll, he'll turn and try and bop me. Yeah, we, we literally can't do this unless they're by a wall. Get over here. This just doesn't... We probably could... We might have been able to go up here and then pull him into the line of the gunfire. <laughs> Guys, this game slaps. This game is amazing. Uh, move past the target, gain one momentum. So we can't move past that target. But we can push him into that one easily peasily. They'll both take a, a little bit. God, I love that. That is hilarious to me for some reason. I just I figured we could do enough damage. I mean he does eight, so like I just I don't want to take the two permanent damage even if we could kill with the counter. I just don't want to. <laughs> We're just dancing around in there. Fight complete. That one was pretty dang easy. Move up to two and then add five block. Redirect an enemy and force them to attack immediately. That sounds pretty. Steal self. Next attack does 2x damage. Two mana cost to double the effect of another card? I don't know. That seems kind of expensive. This sounds busted to me. Subway or bar? I don't know if there's a difference between the two here. I mean, I there, there's probably I guess we could look at the layout, and there's probably some situations that are stronger than others here, like based off of what kind of environmental things are around, and that's a really interesting concept to be able to pick potentially based off. Can we slam you into the counter? I feel like that's always a good go-to if we can. Redirect an enemy. No, okay. Nine. This should do six plus eight there. Yeah, boy. Oh, <laughs> I love the ragdoll. It's fantastic. So we can't do this at an angle. Yeah, look, there we go. We got to have, got a little bit of deficit there. Three. Three. 
I'm actually going to stay here. Don't know what the three is about. One, two, wait, one, two, and then turning? No, he's got one now. Oh, this is, uh, this is a, this is a mess unless we do something here. Oh, <laughs> gang. You know what we got to do. Sorry, sir. Oh, push to the left and the right. No. This will work fine. It's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. I was trying I, like I obviously want them to just punch each other. All right, I think we actually leave it like that. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> oh, that's a oh, he's a push boy. He's a Pillsbury push boy. Oh man. So he does four damage, has five armor. Uh, well, we got counter. This could be an interesting time to defend. We would take two damage total. Unless this is only re reduce the total incoming damage by six. Because if, if this makes it so the four damage people only don't do any and the eight damage guy only does two, that seems like a very worthy sacrifice. But I just don't know. Just don't know. Push enemy. Now I wish I had the uh, push adjacent. I just don't know. I just don't know how that's going to... That works. Oh. Well, now he's dead anyway. If I, I could push him, push him for free. I think we, I think we play it safe. We push him, and we step out of the way, and then hell, we could even, uh, we can even do a little quick strike. Bop, maintain position, counter just in case I missed something. Didn't get shot. Why didn't he shoot? Is this man smart or something? Redirect. So we can almost like pull this guy. Since we know he pushes, we could like almost do redirect and figure out a way to make him, uh, uh, I don't know. Make him push this guy. I, that'd be interesting. Move around a target. Can't kill. Oh boy. I think we do it. Go to the other side. We'll do a little bit of damage. We move here. Front kick. Does that. That pushes him, right? That pushes him. Alright. That's that's good enough. What would this do? Okay, so it tells me where they would move. I kind of want that. I mean, as long as he's still pointing in the same direction, that sounds good. So the redirect has to be on somebody within my uh, my kind of melee radius there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we got cornered. Oh, we got cornered. This is almost a double kill, though. Before we do anything... Shove left and right. Okay, wait, wait, wait. God, this is weird. But we can do this, and then we can... Slide him to the side. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so... So silly looking. I love it. Um... Yeah. Have enemies knock out. Oh, we should we should be looking at that. We should be looking at that. We probably get some kind of bonus. Seems like there might be re replayability even in this demo here. Uh, like I said, if this uh, if you're watching this the day it comes out, June twenty first, this video, uh, you have you have a little bit of time to download the demo still. Otherwise, do wish list the game because oh my god, it's good. Uh, okay. 
There's, there's a way to do this really well, I, I'm sure. We could... Step is step in one direction. We could shift. We could pull him up here, shift past him, and work from there. I guess that's probably just the best thing we got right now. Otherwise, we could do... No. I think we do that. Come here. Come here. Shift past... Could also step here, shift, pass, push. Ooh, wait, can we step there? We cannot step there. All right, that's fine. This will work. This will work. A okay. It's not like it's not god tier or anything, but I could just push this guy out of the way, get him close to a wall. I think we usually like to have that as an option. We can click this to see what's coming up next. Front kick should kill? Counter for why not reasons, effectively. Dummies. I do love how it does make the enemies look like absolute ding-dongs. Left or right. And I'm I'm saying that earnestly. This would move us forward. Uh, okay. We have three energy and four energy worth of stuff. Uh, I'm thinking that get over here is probably what we avoid. Because. Otherwise, I don't know what. Uh, get over here. Step is only one tile direction. That's just. Push someone left or right. I think we could definitely. We could make use of that. Oh, there we go. I, I, nope, nope, nope. There's so many different ways to make this work. Front kick would push him. So then we do, we do, hell, that, I guess, so that we can quick strike front kick. Oh my God. It's, it's just beautiful. Have enemies knock out too many. Oh, okay. So that's going down. I, I was wondering. I was like, I don't even know how many I've got. <laughs> oh, you love the ragdoll. Oh, my goodness. Flow state. All cards cost minus one while this is in your hand. That's interesting. Panic dash, discard a random card to move up to three tiles. So that's a good, okay. That, see, in this scenario, a lot of times these like discard random card type things, like we have it in monster training and stuff like that, is like, yeah, yeah, no, just play it last, who cares? But this, if you play it last, that means you have to use your movement as your final action. And that makes sense thematically with the panic. That This game, these concepts are blended together so well. Remove all block from a target. I'm, I'm between these. Like I said, I have not really had issues. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I wanna push him out the, the demon door. That is just like a, it's just a really nasty stall. Take less than 15 damage, easy. Have two enemies knock each other out. They do eight damage, yeah. I think that this just makes sense. Whoop. And push him. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for panic dash. Because now look at this. We just have we have an abundance of movement stuff. Unless we just drew. Oh, no. I think we just literally drew all of our movement stuff. It, sometimes it's hard to tell with deck builders. You got to be careful. <laughs> no. I want to I wanna be here. Oh, you fool. Okay. Do we have the move that can let us slip to the side? Yep. The question is shove. We can 
can totally redirect. It's only in these directions because I kind of want to move there. I would like it would be fun to move there and make him shoot and then see if we could get him to shoot somebody again. Move somebody to the left or right. Okay. I think we go here and we will push him to the side. Because <laughs> he's gonna, we're gonna make him all punch each other. This, 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 like making enemies kill each other is such an into the breach vibe. Let's see. Um, redirect. So we have to make them. We can't make him just punch the guy he was already looking at. Gotcha, gotcha. And quite frankly, I don't really. Well, wait a minute. Six damage, six damage. We can do that. Punch him. Oh my god. It's just. It's so cool. It's so cool. Two enemies knock each other out. We can, I think we can make that happen. Hell, we can maybe make it happen this turn if we if we get things to go right. Get over here. Step. Oh, that's the turn order. One, two, okay. So, all right. So he would go after, he would go first. So we could not get him to, that's what that, that's the turn order. I guess they all move the same amount of space. Hmm. I actually don't really have like a great way to do this here. I think that we that we probably had a better turn order. Is this making a move right there? I guess I don't really... Then we could front kick him. Yeah. It works. And then we'll just... Maybe next turn. Yeah, I was going to say, there's almost certainly another unit coming. Well, but then we won't be able to get them all... Oh, you... You fool. Hmm... Boy, oh boy. We can't really slip, move around target. We can. Because we got shove, we can do this. Scoot him like that. Slip to the side. No, we can't do all of it. There's really no point to even doing what I'm doing here. And we can only run it, or we can't do one. One, two, three. That's that's interesting. So like, yeah, all right. I just want to be closer. I know that we're gonna discard that other card. Another unit, please. I actually want another unit. No, I don't think so. Front kick. I think we can kill, right? Like, that's a lot of damage there. Shift. We can't do it unless we shove him to the side. We still, we could, we probably could. But don't need to worry about it. Yeah, all right. I should have had him kill each other. Grapple. Move enemy to any adjacent tile. Deal four damage, increase damage for all attacks this turn by one. No, I'm not going to get another panic dash. I I love these, like, movement base ones. We got $220. We got a boss fight coming. Fine. It's a boss fight, so I'm going to go to the medical. If we can. Where are we? We can't. Can we? Where am I? I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, we can't, I guess. Because that's just... That was not an option on our path. Gotcha. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, we... As soon as we open up the gym, we can't go back. So I guess we technically... Great. We went to the gym and then it wouldn't let us go back. You can only look at it once. It's one of those kind of shops. Gotcha. It's fine. We don't need any help. Look at him. Five times eight? What? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, everything in that area. Are you shooting me from the other side of there? You punk. Uh. Okay. We gotta be careful here. We could. Eh. I don't, I just don't love what, what's going on here, but we can make sure we can do a little bit of damage this way. We're not getting shot, even though it kind of looks like it. It's actually going right there. Uh, yeah, we'll get a little bit. Good deal. Panic dash, should we? I don't really think I need to. I, I'm okay with my positioning right now. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh, I need to get him shot at. I need to get him shot at. Shot at. Oh, you fool. Uh, shove. Could we put him here? No. We're not even in range of that. I think we, whatever we do, I think we step last. We do this because that's just, it's free. And I think we do this. Because it's also, he, we're not even going to get punched now. So it's like, who even cares? And if we do this, that guy's going to get killed by his boss. OSHA, please. OSHA, please. Oh, he, boss goes last. Never mind. Oh, or maybe he don't doesn't. Why didn't he want to attack there? This sure looks like the boss. Uh, okay. One HP. Or maybe he did attack and he just didn't die. All right. We... We've got a little bit less going on than I'd like. Uh, we could... If we kill one... Can we move the boss? I'm sure we can. Right? Ah, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of options. I just don't want to get smacked by that. I know that that's semi-redundant. As long as grapple works how I think... Okay. He's gonna. You know what? That's fine. Oh, shut! And then the gun just didn't go there. All right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, we can make him move. Right there. Eh, don't really care. Shove. Well, if we move him there, then we could shove. That's the side one. Yes, we can. We might be able to make something work. Slip to the side. Oh, God. What the even? Ever live in hell. Which direction? Okay, so he's still... Okay, okay, okay. He still is looking the same direction. Gotcha. Well, we have two energy left, so we can do quick strike before we slip away here. Because this should be able to still do one. The question is, do I want to be here or do I want to be here? I don't think we want to be cornered. I think that's generally a good rule of thumb there. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Redirect, we could... Oh no. We actually... This may be the first time we can genuinely see how this will work. We want to do it to see if it if it works how I would think, and we are gonna get a really like an OP turn. Probably not, right? It'd be too it'd be too good. Yeah, we can't even move. It seems really like it'd be too good. We could we could obviously for science for science. This is the last fight I'm doing here anyway. Okay, so it is only it only blocks six damage once. That's very good to know. The the counter move. Gotcha. So that puts us in a little bit of peril. But yeah, this is the last fight we're gonna be doing here anyway. So I just it's all good. Step, shove, shove. We can move him to the side. My issue is. No, we're, we're good, we're good. My issue is that I'm an absolute dummy. Uh, we kind of have to get hit by the boss right now based off of what I just did, I think. Unless, how does this work? Okay, we could... I think we're going to take five damage from the boss no matter what we do here. Could get this guy shot. Shot, push. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. We actually have enough. So if we push him back, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. It's not nearly that bad. Uh, the question is if I want to step. I think the answer is no. I think I don't want to. I think we're good. All right, so yeah, now that we know that counter is not nearly as, it, like, it's it's very good, but it's not as uh, completely 100% as bust as I, as I thought. That's probably way better. All right. Grapple. Move any enemy to an adjacent tile. Uh... Oh, it's not an adjacent tile to me. I think we actually just leave it and we just start... We, we, we just need to start laying down some numbers. Some dang numbers on the boss. Kind of want to get closer to the uh, to this guy. I feel like we could... I feel like we could use him to our advantage really well. I really feel like we do. The slip, slip is an amazing thing to have against this boss. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, we could redirect it up. We'll probably block here. We will probably block here. Front kick. I think is not a bad idea. Just puts us in safety there. Uh... I think we just do this and hope that we get, don't get rid of redirect, because then we can, uh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're not going to take damage at the very least. Then the question is, like, do I want to... Nah, I think I kind of want to stay there. I think I'm good there. I think I'm good there. Man, it's it's definitely it's a claustrophobic boss fight, that's for sure. Shove. Get over here. Uh, I feel like... We have a lot of different moves now that we could actually make happen. 
Uh, I see 30 damage on the table if we could somehow get rid of this guy. I don't think we can. Um, hmm. Shove moves to the side. We can, Okay, step one. Panic dash. This is weird. This is weird. Come here. Move over one step. And then... Oh, shove is to the side! Shove... Uh, in my head, I'm like, push and shove. I like... They're the same thing. Um, uh, okay. They're not, though. It's not gonna readjust his direction, so we are gonna take a hit because of that misunderstanding. We are gonna take a hit because of that misunderstanding. Shove is to the side, push is straight forward. They're completely different. This poor guy, though. All right. Ooh. Ooh, I'm locked down. Please let me... Okay. First of all, I think this is a good idea. I, feel, I think we just need to start laying down some big damage here. And I do want to keep him in line here. Grapple, we cannot put him... Okay. Can't really put anybody in a better spot. I guess maybe, like, it's a good idea to get him out of the way. Thank you, counter. We're getting we're getting low. We're getting low. A couple couple bad calls. A couple misunderstandings. Oh boy. I don't really want to be in the corner, but I think that if we get shift, it might be a good idea. Oof. Oof. Mmm boy, oh boy. Okay, if we shift back there, we could then step... Oh, we could probably push the boss out the door. That'd be interesting. I mean, I'm not... I don't think I'm going to do that at this point. That seems like a nightmare waiting to happen there, but... Honestly, this isn't a much better position. Or is it? Maybe it is. Because they can't... Uh, I don't want to be... I don't want to lock myself in place there. I don't want to lock myself in place in that corner. We have at least, like, a little bit of options for movement and stuff still. If we move there, we're going to get shot. All right. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here. I think he can move... Yeah, he can move two spaces. Yeah. Please let me get to slip... Oh, no! Thank you. Yes, thank you for giving me slip, but I actually did not mean slip, of course. Uh boy. We can move there. We do have redirect, which will help quite a bit. I like that. We're going to take damage, though, unless we kick him. Unless we do that. He's not going to take the shot, but I think that's okay. Can this be to this? Oh, he can be, but it does turn him towards me. Oh, my God. There's a lot of nuance here. There's, like, a, a really shocking amount of nuance. Oh, boy. Oh, no, he didn't punch. He didn't punch. I mean... Like, do we just win right there? We might. <laughs> also, we should have tried to take... We should have take, done the takedown first. But I just saw the gun. I saw, saw... You know, it's 15 damage. That should... Yep. All done. Feel the burn, move up to two tiles, but lose five health for a zero cost. Interesting. Punch kick combo. 
Kick Punch, it's all in the mind. Do five damage three times, and then Panic Dash, discard a card at random to move up to three tiles. Well, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this game has the absolute Retromation seal of approval, and that is where I'm going to leave it off here because we're at the 50 minute mark. Typically, these are supposed to be about 30, 40 minutes here, uh, but there's a uh, there's a lot of lot of depth here, even within this demo. I, I'm very fascinated. I, it's like really jumped to the top of my anticipated uh, game chart for 2020. I think it's is it supposed to come out 2020. Let's see. Uh, fights in tight spaces. Yeah, release date 2020. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna do it for today then. If you wanna get the, the demo within, you know, if you're watching it the day the video comes out, you can get the demo with the link in the description. Otherwise, you can wishlist it with the link in the description to be notified when the game does come out. But that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more cool games, roguelikes and more, deck builders and more, all kinds of fun stuff on this channel here. If you enjoyed the video, like it, it'll help. Serve this video to other people. It's what the uh, omnipresent algorithm dictates as a demand to, to as a blood sacrifice that's a great way to help out the channel but that's gonna do it thank you for watching thank you and i'll see you next time